the past six years, we've invited a number of celebrants from a variety of faiths and backgrounds to be a part of our baccalaureate ceremonies. In keeping with this tradition, tonight we welcome Joe Maiden to the podium to add a layer of thoughtful reflection to our gathering. Joe is a parent of two current Berwick Academy Upper School students, and she's a certified life cycle celebrant. In this role, Joe provides officiating services for a variety of life-changing events for families from all different types of spiritual and secular perspectives. And certainly with you tonight has fallen into the life-changing category for our 71 seniors. And therefore, it's my pleasure to welcome Ms. Joe Lee. Good evening and welcome. 
welcome once again to this remarkable celebration in honor of this remarkable class. And while the class of 2013 will surely hear more than they have ever hoped from me tomorrow at their commencement exercises, it's my charge to briefly open our gathering tonight as well. It feels just like yesterday that these same 71 Azure seniors graced this stage. Well, I guess it was actually a slightly larger stage at that time, in September for convocation. And we spoke about a year that presented before them an opportunity that was there for the taking. And nine months later, framed now by a blue curtain rather than a red one, they are back once again. And I can say with great confidence that they have grasped their opportunity fully and exceeded all my expectations. These gatherings are always surreal moments to a certain degree. On the heels of an emotional dinner, we bring the group of seniors into this hallway with a fleeting final hope of halting time. We pause on the precipice of their final launch to do our best to soak in every memory, achievement, and human story that has made the class of 2013 what it is today. For my part, I actually appreciate the bit of denial that's inherent in every baccalaureate ceremony, as if we don't have to fully attempt to say goodbye. Tomorrow is for all of that stuff. But we do take the next 24 hours as a community to look inward and embrace this new group of graduates, hoping that the pride we feel in their accomplishments will reveal the depth of our love for them as individuals. It's also my moment to thank these teachers in front of me who have served as the essential catalysts in making this class what it has in fact become. Without your expertise, and your empathy, and your work ethic, I truly believe that these fine young men and women could not have become who and what they are today. And as your leader, I can only hope that you know how deeply I am on by your collective work as upper school educators. And as parents, I pause with you as well here to say thank you. You have also toiled on behalf of these young men and women, physically and emotionally. And many continue to tell me that the physical exhaustion of my three little munchkins simply pales in comparison to the mental exhaustion of raising your teenagers. <laughs> but somehow you've summoned the fortitude to do it, and do it well. And like me, you now must call upon your deepest support and pride to vault these fine people out of your homes and into the amazing futures that lie ahead. And I know that you are proud, and I'm here to remind you that you should be. I close tonight by inviting my colleague, Sheila Eskin, to the podium. In her first year, I've been dazzled by her confidence, patience, and ability to listen. As the first female director of our upper school, she knew from the beginning she had big shoes to fill. And she's done so not by trying to be someone else, but by being herself and letting her faculty be themselves as well. And my opinion is that her collaborative leadership has only just begun in the halls of Fog Memorial. And while she too should take great pride in this group of graduates, I want her to know that I take great pride in now calling her my colleague. She's taught me so much in just one short year. Please join me in welcoming our upper school director, Ms. Sheila Asa.
to learn, explore, and grow in a community such as this, <coughs> and we love you unconditionally. Certainly couldn't imagine four more qualified people 
for this important role, and I'm going to look forward to thanking them for their service when they return for their first class reunion in 2018, if not before. I'm going to ask them to please stand, and I invite the audience to join me in congratulating the four class agents for the class of 2013, Blake Downey, Laura Nordlinger, Molly LaPointe, and Eliza Hayes.
Lydia Waldo, and Caitlin Winters. Today, it is my pleasure to honor a young woman who was captured by that inspiration 
She discovered the joy of movement at a young age and maintained a consistent trajectory to do more, to practice more, to learn more skills, to embrace more learning methods, and to take risks by performing more. Madison Keith is no stranger to the stage. She has graced the stage in every dance performance for the past 13 years. Her choreography and ensemble work has been presented throughout Maine and New Hampshire in showcases, competitions, and community fundraisers. She understands the value of practice and embraces the process of performance. While this award is to celebrate outstanding achievement in the dance program, it would be negligent to not mention the incredible contribution Maddie has given to the behind-the-scenes components of Berwick Academy stage productions. Both a skilled choreographer and lighting designer, Maddie has supported a multitude of events with the utmost consideration and skill. When faced with the incredible challenges of moving our most recent productions to a venue off campus, Maddie faced the potential setback with an unwavering focus. Steadfast in her design concepts, Maddie quickly took the reign of lighting director, effectively communicating her ideas to directors, cast, and crew. The implementation of her work magnificently supported two unforgettable, unforgettable productions. Renowned choreographer Merce Cunningham once said, you have to love dancing to stick with it. It gives you nothing back. No manuscripts to store away, no paintings to show on walls and maybe hanging museums, no poems to be printed and sold, nothing but that fleeting moment when you feel alive. It is unarguable that Maddie breathes life into her dance. Her love for it shines from her core and emanates through every final point of her moving, moving lines. She's a force, and I am so grateful I had the opportunity to have that force by my side for eight full years. I confess I am not sure what I would do without her. From dedication to dance and beyond, it is with great joy that I ask Madison Keith to come forward and receive the Baccalaureate Award for Dance. strong leadership, 
beautiful writing and intriguingly his natural teaching ability. High praise indeed from his peers. Please join me in congratulating James and <laughs> Or not. 
not. Uh, I will uh, keep and treasure that as a compliment because it puts me in very good company with her. <laughs>
Circle Project really demonstrated creativity, precision, and enthusiasm for the work. Whether we were learning new skills, exploring complex relationships, or deriving useful formulas, Lily always seemed to be all with mathematics. And Mrs. Waite said Lily appears sweet and serene, but when in the trenches of exploring mathematics, she is feisty and delightful and shrewd. I saw the same interest, energy, and determination in Lily this year in the calculus, but I also enjoyed observing Lily's patient and generous efforts to assist classmates who found the course more challenging. From her dedication and her contributions to all facets of the math program, I will be forever grateful. It is a pleasure to present the 2013 Honor Award Medal to Lily Hahn. Congratulations.
This year's award winner is an excellent student. Her record in the upper school includes exceptional performances in the most challenging science and as we just heard from these no math classes that we have to offer. Her accurate responses and problems from past and past placement tests in physics demonstrate that she has a thorough understanding of the ideas explored in the comprehensive AP Physics curriculum. Her score on the last full-length AP test given this year, the equivalent of the course final exam, was superb, placing her in the upper echelon of high school physics students nationally. Her delight in reaching clever solutions to challenging problems, her unabashed curiosity, and her incredible natural ability will all serve her well as she continues to pursue her understanding of science next year in the year. With any luck, she might bump into one of my old professors. Congratulations, Lily Khan. You're phenomenal. Thank you.
wide range of work in theater design, lighting, musical performance, and music composition, as well as that scene in the studio classroom. For this senior, artistic expression is interwoven across the broad fabric of the arts. And although he is receiving the Visual Art Award tonight, it's worth saying that his involvement in the arts at large has been far-reaching and has brought both depth and sophistication to his visual art for which he is recognized tonight. This award, of course, is going to Ben Flack, who has for 13 years delighted us with a host of characters that spring from a deep source of imagination not, like, uh, not unlike Athena leaping from Zeus's head. <laughs> from nippers to guardians and archangels, Ben's characters have been created and developed in rich visual detail, gesture, and rhythm. When confronting Ben's work, the viewer is met with a dizzying perspective that reveals both brutal flashes of conflict and serene moments of self-reflection as experienced by his characters. Rendered in the style of graphic novels, comics, and contemporary illustration, Ben's work aims to take the best from these creative genres and combines it with his own unique sensibility to make it his own. I'm so pleased to work Ben Platt with this year's Baccalaureate Award in Art. Some common and some brief memories from our, the 
journey of my class. It all began in lower school, when for the first time in the Baroque Academy, class of 2013, had a face. During those years, we played hot lava monster on the brand new playground, we built the very first hedge homes under the trees, and put our handprints on a uh, steel beam inside of the once new library. Do you remember the tug of war games versus the faculty, sliding down the snowy hill, bundled up from head to toe, and the dreaded mile in the class? And don't forget about the well fought soccer recess games on our once dirt field. I'll definitely take the dirt for the turf in the day. <laughs> in middle school, the coolest thing at first was that we didn't have to escort, didn't have to be escorted to our class by our teachers. I guess it was a really big building. Um, locker decorations, wheelie backpacks, Mrs. Miller's grammar codes on essay revisions, Mr. Willoughby's documentary project, the mystery of Mr. Knight's missing finger and his cane toes, <laughs> and those awkwardly long snowball dances to stare away to heaven at the end of the Upper school, it arrived, and now that it's over, I can gladly say that it's everything we expected it to be and more. Do you remember our freshman trip? and Mr. Kaspersek's first ever, of many, many, many to come, legacy speeches. <laughs> <laughs> and Mrs. Melbourne's unexpected tears. <laughs> Mr. Sullivan's wrench and his turquoise pen rule. Call, call me maybe. The good old egg drop, chem book, junior paper projects. Undefeated seasons in soccer, lacrosse, and baseball. The birth of the golf team dynasty. Les Mis, which is no doubt the best this campus has ever seen. The Bear Cub on campus. George Hinkle and Drag. <laughs> Ricky Kramer and Alex Jocelyn in banana costumes. Mr. Davies' scary stories on class trips. Whippet and the senior dance. Ping pong tournaments in the pit. The senior scoot. Tom scaring the skin off of the teacher chaperones at the senior overhead classroom. <laughs> And last but certainly not least, the PWE. And for those of you who aren't in the know, that's the Peter Whale experience. <laughs> and I guess that thing called the college process happened as well. With all that we have done, we still have much, much more to add to this community that has given us so much. Others may challenge the thought that we are the best. And I dare say that they can make their case. But to me, it's no question. To quote our own very beloved, very dear Mr. Kaczyzak, I will end with this. <laughs>
Thank you.